And the Navy has a new weapon in the war on terror. It's called VBSS, or Visit, Board, Search, and Seizure. It's a much more aggressive approach to maritime interdiction. 13 News reporter Joe Flanagan tells it's all about surface force sailors. These heavily armed shooters are sailors, members of a new program under the auspices of the Center for Anti-Terrorism and Navy Security Forces. They were demonstrating their skills of the Navy support activity Norfolk Northwest Annex in Chesapeake. I think it's important that America actually sees where we're going with it. What, what we're actually doing behind the scenes uh, to make our country safe. This three-week training program is called Visit, Board, Search and Seizure. Ships now have teams of 18 to 22 sailors capable of boarding and dealing with non-compliant vessels. While we're training at this level today, um, the enemy or the global war on terrorism changes day to day. So you have to be flexible in that, uh, in, in the skill set fundamentals that you teach. Special forces still deal with the more intense cases, but now these VBSS teams are on board, locked and loaded, so to speak. Uh, yes, uh, I volunteered, and obviously um, the stuff we're going to get into is a little bit more dangerous compared to what other sailors out in the fleet are used to, but um, I'm glad to volunteer. Sailors pass two other courses before they qualify for this one. Slouchers don't cut it here. Well, when they come to us, they also come from, you know, the basics. So they know the basics. They have weapon skills, but they don't have the team concept yet and the movement skills. The new Navy. Joe Flanagan, 13 News. Well, so far, the Navy says it has...